Creating an RGBA Splat Map An RGBA Splat Map is a single image file that contains up to four 8-bit grayscale weight maps packed into the four RGBA channels. RGBA Splat Maps are typically used in material shaders where the channels are used as weight maps to specify texture splatting on an object. By packing multiple weight maps into a single RGBA image file, fewer resources are consumed in the shader. Launch Terrasculptor Professional Create a new terrain or import an existing terrain, height map, or digital elevation model file. For this tutorial, I will be importing a digital elevation model from the Terrasculptor Free Terrain Pack available on the Terrasculptor forums. I resampled the terrain to one of the valid Unreal Engine 4 sizes. The size that I chose is simply for this tutorial and is not one of the recommended optimal sizes. See the Unreal Engine documentation for the small list of recommended landscape sizes. I left the terrain altitude at the maximum range and adjusted the terrain property's Y spacing value to 128 in order to restore the terrain's aspect ratio in the 3D viewport. The reasoning for leaving the terrain using the maximum range of 0 to 100 is so that any modifiers and tools used on the terrain are basically in simple to use percentage values. The weight maps used in the RGBA splat map are extracted from the terrain altitude information using the items on the extract menu. For this RGBA splat map I will be extracting a high altitude mask between the altitudes of 60 and 100. This will be used for a snow texture for snow covered mountain peaks. Save the mask to disk using the File Output Save button. The extracted high altitude mask. I will extract a low altitude mask between the altitudes of 0 and 10. This will be used for a sand texture for the low water beach areas. Be sure to save the mask to disk. The extracted low altitude mask. I will extract a slope mask at angles between 55 and 90 degrees. This will be used for the rock texture for the steep rock face slopes. Be sure to save the mask to disk. The extracted slope mask. These masks can optionally be edited as required in any paint software, or the Terrasculptor Mask Editor, estimated to be available in the Professional Edition builds by late 2018. Editing of the masks can include such filters as gamma, contrast, intensity, and cross mask modifications such as subtracting one mask from another. On the Terrasculptor Tools menu, choose the Mask Splat Map Creator. This tool is only available on the Professional Edition. On the Mask 1 Red channel, choose the File Open button to open one of the masks previously saved to disk. In this example, I am placing the high altitude mask into the red channel. Repeat the procedure and open the low altitude mask into the green channel. Then open the slope mask into the blue channel. All three masks are now loaded into the RGBA splat map. Note that the alpha channel is an automatically calculated difference mask to the values in the red, green, and blue channels. Choose the Save As button on the Splat Map Creator dialog to save the RGBA Splat Map file to disk. Save the RGBA Splat Map file to disk using the file format appropriate for the intended purpose. 32 bit RGBA files are typically in PNG file format, while 32 bit RGB files are typically in BMP file format. The Splat Map file was saved to disk. This is the final saved Splat Map file. Note that it may look different depending on the image software used to display the file and how it manages the displaying of the alpha channel information. Some image software will display the alpha channel as transparent. The use of this splat map will vary depending on the intended purpose. For use in video game engines, additional scripts or materials may have to be utilized to support RGBA splat maps. If you are using this splat map in Unreal Engine 4, there are two ways to achieve landscape material layering. The typical method is to use a layer blend node in the landscape material and assign individual weight map 8-bit grayscale files to each texture layer. This method requires extracting the individual RGBA color planes back out of the RGBA splat map and saving them as individual 8-bit grayscale weight maps. Instead of using the Terrasculptor splat map creator for this method of landscape layering, it is recommended to use the Terrasculptor weight map creator instead estimated to be available in the Professional Edition builds by the summer of 2018. The alternate method is to create a material that uses an RGBA splat map directly. This involves creating a material that uses multiple cascading height lerp nodes. 
Note that as of UE4 4.1x, there is an error in the PNG image importer that causes 32-bit PNG images to import with horizontal pixel striations. To get around this issue, save the splat map from TerraSculptor as a BMP file, which will only contain the RGB channels, and import that into UE4. Note that the management of the weight map data is not consistent between these two material methods. There is slight differences in how the engine blends the weight maps. Multiple adjustments and fine-tuning to the masks saved out of the TerraSculptor extractors is often required. This is a screenshot of a quick UE4 landscape using a digital elevation model file and four-layer material. Note that this is only a proof-of-concept abbreviated speed design that does not include any typical design features such as normal maps, erosion flow line layer, foliage, etc. That concludes this video tutorial.